Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm just out on my way to work, but I wanted to document what spring looks like today on April 8th, 2019. Um, so there's the daffodils. Today, it's just been one day since I filmed the last update. And everything's blooming, so it's like more. It's 70 degrees out. Got leaves growing here. Some green on that. I don't know if there was green there yesterday. But the thing I noticed the most about the growth is the buds turning green on this tree. I don't remember them being this green yesterday. Leaves are starting to like bud out, which is so exciting. And the daffodils back here started to bloom. I think yesterday only two flowers were in the daffodils. And then today that one has a bud. Those have buds. This one has a flower. Two flowers. More buds more flowers so very good then I just wanted to check out my grandmother my great-grandmother's tree and see if that's blooming pretty much the same as yesterday so we'll see what happens to this but that's my little spring update today I'm, I'm going to work right now but it's a beautiful day and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Maybe I'll come back and check in while I'm at work. But if I don't see you, have a great day. But maybe I'll see you. I'm at work now. I'm like pretty bored. At the end of the night, it's just the older girls that have ballet, the young boys ballet class and all the little kids are done. So then I just kind of hang out. This studio's empty at this time. But I like to spy down below at this going on down here there's a lot of action there was just a police thing going on <laughs> sometimes I do my own ballet but I can't really do anything because my hip action. I'm home from work now. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, my mom's playing music really loud so I came outside because it's really nice out. And I kind of just wanted to give another therapy update since I had therapy today. Um, so Last week in my therapy update, I was coming off of that really intense panic attack. And today I didn't want to go to therapy. I knew I needed to go and I wanted to go, but I didn't want to go, if that makes sense. I was kind of reluctant to go after last week in that panic attack. And the panic attacks before that that I had in therapy. And then today I went and me and my therapist talked and she talked about 
like why I had that panic attack or like what's going on and she said that we are going to be starting exposure therapy I can't even say it without wanting to cry we are going to be starting exposure therapy and last week she was doing an exposure with me but I didn't know so I got emotional like I cried I was so anxious because <sighs> I just can't explain it. If anyone's ever done exposure therapy before, please let me know because it's terrifying. It's really hard. Like, I'm already getting kind of teary eyed because it gets worse before it gets better when you do exposure therapy. And if you stop in the middle of it for any reason, gets worse you have to complete the full round of exposure therapy and she, it's gonna suck my therapist says it's gonna suck it's gonna be hard but it's gonna be for the better when it's done and that hopefully I won't have so much fear anymore I'll be able to like do things um, the exposure is all for my anxiety stuff so I'm really really worried about doing exposure therapy she said we're gonna start off really slow and she's going to prepare me in advance for days when we are going to do an exposure about what we're gonna do the exposure on but I'm really nervous guys I'm really nervous because it's very painful for me Physically, emotionally, it's very taxing for me to do exposures and to just know that that's where we're heading in that direction. So I have like the, the last like chunk of progress, I guess, to make to really like this is the next steps. It, it, it's been the next steps, but I've been procrastinating it, and now I need to I need to do exposure treatment. I'm so worried, but I know that even though it's going to be so hard that hopefully it will make me better, hopefully I won't be so afraid of everything. I've lived my whole life in fear and I'm really hoping it helps me even though it's going to be torture and it's going to suck. <sighs> I feel like I keep rambling, but I just wanted to give this update and kind of have it on document for myself. I'm going to be documenting my time and exposure therapy the best I can. And yeah, it will be alright. I just have to keep telling myself that it will be alright, but it's very scary for me, so. Anyway, I don't want to be negative ending the vlog off here, but I'm going to get ready and just go relax and have a little downtime after a busy day and an emotional day. So I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. And until then, I hope you are doing well. I hope you have a great day or night or morning and... Thanks for watching. Bye.